my little peacherinos. Welcome back to a new video. Hope you guys are feeling peachy today. We are finally back to some more Disney princess. The reason this has taken me a while is because I've tried to follow the movie really closely with our Elsa and Anna series. But honestly, I wish I just followed the rules more closely and kind of had a little bit more fun with it because trying to follow the movie really closely is really hard because there's stuff in The Sims that you just can't do as easily as you can do, obviously, if you're making an animated film. So I am finding that kind of tough and it's kind of taking a bit of the fun away from me. So I think with our next princess, who I actually don't know 100% who that is. Maybe it's Ariel? Hopefully it's Mulan or Pocahontas. I don't know. But in the next one, I think we're going to play it a little bit more like Snow White, where we kind of follow it a little bit, but we make up our own rules. So in the last episode, Anna went ahead and confronted Elsa, told her to return. Here she is in her awesome. It is so pretty. Like, I love this. I don't think we would have had this if we hadn't done it following the movie. So it's kind of nice to have this gorgeous ice palace, ice castle. That Elsa, of course, made with her magic. However, Elsa not only refused to return, but during a bit of a scuffle, she went ahead and hit Anna with the beam of ice yet again. She can't resist doing a bit of that. And as a result, Anna now needs to be cured or else the ice will get to... I think it's already in her heart, but it's gonna kill her, basically. Whilst Anna left, though, what actually happens in the movie is Hans goes from... Is it Hans? Prince Hans. What do I call him? Is it Prince Hans? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to check. It is Hans. What was I called? Hugo. Okay. Prince Hans goes ahead and captures Elsa. There's like a whole big scuffle with Marshmallow, which I obviously can't also do in The Sims. He manages to catch Elsa. But whilst all this is going on, Anna is of course rushing back to Arendelle. So I think we'll have to go ahead and send her to Arendelle. Oh my gosh, look at all my dwarfs around. <gasps> Naveen is around too and some of the princes as well. We're gonna send Elsa to Arendelle because she she is captured. I don't know. I feel like she gets put into like a cell. So I'm like looking like, is there a cell anywhere that I can like hide her in? She does of course escape. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and pop her in here. So we've locked her in here. She's tired and we're going to go ahead and lock this door. So now she is trapped inside. And of course, poor Anna has no idea. Anna and Christoph. Okay, you're Christoph. I always want to call him Sven. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, Christoph is hardcore. Is up swimming in the freezing cold mode. Oh, you are your Sven. Okay, your Sven. And you are Olaf. So the whole gang is here. They've gone ahead and delivered Anna, who is looking very much like, you know, she's in danger. She is very, very cold after being frozen by Elsa. You have to go swim as well. If you're going to swim as well, then you have officially lost your mind. Oh, no, okay, okay, you're all right. You're listening to vampire prayers. You're sitting on the edge, but you're staying in your clothes, which is a good idea. I mean, I feel like Kristoff, you know, he's like a... No, okay, what are you doing, babes? Babes, no. Why is this even your outfit for the lake? I don't know. And how has that made you be less cold? I don't know. Like, Kristoff is an ice, like hunter. I know he doesn't hunt the ice, but you get what I mean. Like, he's used to this cold weather. You are not. Like, he's okay doing this, but you most definitely are not. Also, we've got little Olaf here as well, who has just become good friends with Sven, which we love to see. So, Kristoff knows... Oh, look at Sven. I'm sorry. I keep getting distracted by them. So cute. Kristoff knows that the only way for her to save herself from freezing... He is also now freezing, by the way. I mean, he decided to get in the water. This was a dumb, dumb move. Look at his little frex. Little frex. He knows the only way to save it is with true love kiss and Anna is like well I have to go back to my prince I have to go back to my prince Hans who's definitely a sweet wonderful person and not an evil person trying to steal the throne at all don't even worry so these guys are gonna go ahead and head inside you're about to freeze into death again why don't we get out the water and change into a warm weather outfit please but these guys are kind of sad it's like okay I guess this is where we say goodbye and of course at this point we know that little freezing Kristoff has started to get feelings for Anna so I think he feels kind of sad sitting in a inside to get her true love's kiss with Prince Hans. Oh, look at his sad little cold face. When in fact, her true love is right here. She just doesn't realize it yet. Sometimes it takes a while. The penny will drop. Don't even worry. Oh, look, Hans is literally here waiting. He is here waiting. She's like, Hans, please help me. I am such a cold pookie. If you give me my true love's kiss, then I will be safe again. She looks like she's already going a bit slow, doesn't she? She's going to go over and hold his hands and be like, please, can I have my true love's kiss so that I can be saved from this curse. Bearing in mind, they're not married yet. They're actually not married yet, but he's gonna be like, yeah, sure, just let's head inside to do it because, you know, we are royalty. We're to be married soon. We don't want to upset any of our subjects. So let's head inside. She's looking a real state. She's even really tired. I think that's the curse. The curse is... Oh, wow. The curse really been making her look rough. Oh my gosh. Olaf is freezing to death. No. Olaf is a snowman. A snowman cannot freeze to death. Like, no, that... No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Literally just froze on the ground. No! 
No Grim Reaper, he's a snowman. He can't freeze to death. Okay, let's go and plead. He actually needs the cold, okay? He's also, I gave him the trait which made him like not be able to get cold. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay, I should have done. I should have done. Okay, Ara, I just killed Olaf from cold. I killed a snowman in the snow from cold. I don't even know how that is possible. It shouldn't be possible. Now he's gonna go ahead and reveal. Reveal his dastardly plans. Look at her. She's freezing. She's like, why won't you kiss me? What is going on? And he's like, kiss you. Lol. Jokes. I'm not about to kiss you. This was all my secret plan all along. Now I've got you and Elsa locked up. The throne is mine. She seems not interested in this at all, but okay. Oh, look. He's breaking up with her. Not only that, he's gonna be like, I never ever plan to get married to you all along. This was all just a trick so I could steal the throne. Look at him wiping away his fake tear. He does not look sad at all, does he? He's like, ha 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 ha. This was my evil plan. Okay, he is depressed, but we'll delete that because he's not meant to be. This is an abhorrent confrontation. And just to really drag the knife in, he's gonna also imply that her mother is a llama. You know how touchy they are about their parents. Also, her mother was Aurora, so this is all very mean. And then finally, he's gonna go ahead and say, I will not give you true love's kiss to save you. In fact, he's gonna, oh, what are you doing now? <gasps> oh my gosh, they're getting into an actual physical fight. What? I thought they were about to do a love thing. I was like, no, you guys meant to be hating each other. Don't go for the love option. And in fact, they are actually just going for a full on physical fight instead. Okay, definitely hating each other now. Terrible match. It's probably best they stay apart. There's a lot of dislike here. Like a lot. Yeah, really hating each other. Oh my gosh, she actually beat him up. He's dazed. However, he's gonna use his opportunity to run out the room and also, no, no, you gotta stay in here. Anna, you was locked in here. I'm glad she at least got a few good punches in. She's gonna go ahead and lock this door so that Anna is now locked inside. She is chilled from being frozen by Elsa. She's heartbroken. She's looking in a real sorry state. The curse is starting to take over and she's also about to pass out from exhaustion in The Sims. But we're gonna say it's because she's literally so... It's the curse. The curse is taking over. It's zapping off the last of her energies. Someone needs to get in here and help her soon or else there won't be any El Elna for much longer. And I just realized I totally forgot about Olaf. Okay. <laughs> Olaf is now a statue. No. Okay. We won't be allowing that to happen. Although he's also here. What? Who was that then? Wait, Olaf is now here. Olaf, what? Did you just fake your own death? Look at this mentally planning. He's planning his next move. Did you just fake your own death to get inside Arendelle? Olaf, you are next level. I didn't even think about that. I don't know how you're dead and alive at the same time. That is actually just blowing my mind right now. So whilst I've been away, the butler has only gone and like left the house. Clearly he was only loyal to Anna and Elsa because we've got a new butler now and she doesn't even dress like a butler. So clearly... Clearly, she cannot have that much respect for Hans, but whatever. We're gonna go and tell her to prepare a feast because, unfortunately, so sad, so sad. Um, Anna is dead. Elsa killed her. Oh my gosh, his stupid bruised face. But please invite around some of my dignitaries because, unfortunately, whilst it's very sad that Anna was killed by Elsa, we did get married first, so technically I am the king. We need to execute Elsa because, obviously, she is very evil. Please don't walk straight through me, very rude. And I am now the king of Arendelle, so we need to get my celebration celebrations underway. Oh wow, and Elsa is still locked in here. Looking, let's face it, kind of tragic right now, but she does manage to break out all on her own because this is Elsa and ain't no room can keep her in. So she's gonna go ahead and break out and little Olaf, who literally has just come in clutch because he's, wh why are you now burn? Olaf, what is your game? I don't understand you. I don't understand what you're doing at all, but I'm kind of also here for it. So Olaf, who is apparently still death by freezing, but is just refusing to let it happen, which I can totally get behind. He's only gone ahead and snuck into the castle on his own. I don't know how he's even done that. He's also completely ignoring this death by freezing thing. I mean, he is a snowman. He's gone ahead and unlocked this door so he can go inside and wake up Anna. He's like, Anna, 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 what happened? What happened? I'm here to save you. I am now a dead, burnt snowman. Things have changed since I've seen you last. This kid, I don't even know. He's like, wow, you look terrible. <laughs> what happened? She did not like me told she looked terrible, even though she knows she does, you know? You never want to hear that. He's gonna be like, what, what happened? We delivered you to Hans. Weren't you meant to get your true love's kiss? And she's like, no, he tricked me. He tricked me and he left me in here to die. She's super depressed, like super, super depressed. She's like, he never loved me. I never knew what true love was. And Olaf's like, well, 
actually, on that note, I have some good news for you. Did you know that Kristoff all along was actually your true love? He is the one that's been really worried about you. These two do not really like each other, which is strange because I feel like they do in the film. He's like, I like Kristoff. He's pretty cool. And he's like, well, he's your true love. He is the person that should be your true love. And then Olaf is going to be like, you should definitely hook up with Kristoff because I can ask him to do that. So, you know, I totally should. She's like, I don't know. Kristoff, you're not very convincing. Also, Elsa has discovered Necrocall, which means she can summon the dead. That could be useful for Olaf, not gonna lie. So Elsa being locked in there and feeling like she's responsible for Anna's death has gone ahead and created a huge blizzard, which I can do in The Sims. So that was kind of handy. Look, Kristoff and Sven were heading off. However, upon seeing the blizzard and knowing it's all centered around the castle at Arendelle, Kristoff is like, I can't just leave here. Something's gone wrong. The snow was meant to calm down. We were meant to try and like save Anna, but this ain't right. Like, I can't see anything. This blizzard is super thick. So he's gonna try and take... Oh, wow. He's running fast. I thought he was gonna struggle. Like, everyone's struggling to run in the blizzard. But big, strong Kristoff just pulls straight through it all. He's running off back to Arendelle Castle. I mean, the seagulls seem fine. Can I just say? They are not bothered by the cold at all. Look at them and their four pixels go. So inside, Olaf has gone and brought Anna to the fire to try and heat her up. The two of them chit-chatting about love and the fact that love is putting somebody else first. Which, can I just point Olaf, Loki is kind of doing here because he'll probably melt. I mean, he already looks like he may have melted a little bit. I don't understand this child. He's still meant to be dying by freezing, but he's just refusing to do so. She's a very snowman-like behavior. However, Anna is at least not blue anymore. She's still looking pretty rough. She's still dying, but at least she's been able to heat up a little bit with the fire. However, the two of them have also noticed the blizzard outside. And whilst noticing the blizzard outside, they've also noticed a little Kristoff outside as well. Now definitely struggling a little bit more in the blizzard. Okay, this bit's gonna be so hard to do. So Anna comes outside. <laughs> Meanwhile, Elsa has escaped. However, has also been confronted by Hans. This is gonna be so difficult. I don't even know if I can actually pull this off. So Hans goes ahead and confronts Elsa and tells her that it was her magic that's killed Anna. And Anna's death is actually Elsa's fault. This is so much going on. Meanwhile, Anna is trying to reach Kristoff in the storm. Kristoff who looks dead mad. However, upon hearing that she has killed Anna, she is then super, super sad. I mean, if she just turned around, Anna's right there going away with Sven for a walk. I don't know why she's doing that. But she's so sad that for a moment, the storm stops. I can't do that. I cannot do that. But the storm, storm stopping allows Anna to be like, oh. Anna to glitch. Glitch across the courtyard. Anna to be like, Kristoff, I'm here. However, at the same time, she hears none other than Hans. Draw out his sword. Hans, where's your sword? Okay, I don't have a sword. But what I do have is an ornate hunting rifle. Where is it? Where's your hunting rifle? Okay, no, I don't have that. He won't put that on either. Okay, why can I not weaponize my sims? This is dead rude. I can't even give them these cool stuffs anymore. I can't even give them a bug. What has happened? Mean. Okay, we'll have to do the next best thing, which is fight! Literally, he's been so selfish this time. But he's gonna go in there straight up with the fightings. But pretend this is a sword. She's there like, oh, all really sad. And he has pulled out a sword ready to cut her head off. I'm hoping that he doesn't also lose this fight so that I, at least she looks all sad and like, oh, like, no, he's trash at fighting. You would make a terrible king. Just a terrible king, really. So Anna, having a choice between getting her true love's kiss and saving herself. She goes ahead and instead she battles through. It might mean this there shouldn't be a storm at this point. She goes over and is like, no, I want to save my sister rather than save myself. But as a result of her not having enough time to save herself with the curse, she becomes frozen solid. And Hans's sword hits Anna and then the show breaks and the shockwave flies backwards. But how am I supposed to do that in Sims? Okay, I just can't do that in Sims. So you're dazed. I'm going to go ahead and make you become unconscious. So there we go. He falls unconscious to the ground. Elsa's like, oh my gosh, no way. She's like, not only was Anna alive all this time, but she picked to save me rather than and save herself. What a baby. Now, in the movie, of course, she hugs her to make her return back to normal again. But I cannot hug a frozen person. So instead, 
that she's gonna go ahead and unfreeze her using her magic and then hug her and realize that her tears while she hugs her is what it takes to make Anna go from frozen to back to that little cute version of Anna that we all know and love without her looking all tired and sad and most importantly blue. And Elsa kind of realizing that the key to controlling her magic was actually love all along because this is of course the Disney princess series and that is just the way things go. And so using her magic she's able to first off stop the snow, bring in beautiful clear skies whilst there's no blizzard anymore. <gasps> oh which means snowman melting time. Oh wow. <gasps> oh wow. Oh it's literally all thawing away as we speak. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, this does feel like the movie. This does feel like the movie. Look at that. All the snow is thawing everywhere. So are all the snowmen, though. Ooh. That bit, not so good. But oh my gosh, Arendelle has actually returned to a non-snowy version. The snow is melting everywhere. Oh my gosh, things not looking good for your castle right now. I'm just putting that out there. But all of the little blast bits of snow are disappearing everywhere. It's back to being beautiful and non-snowy. It's pretty. We can wear our summer weather again. Even the sea is not frozen anymore. And look how pretty it looks. I don't think we've ever properly seen it on like a nice hot day, have we? Things, of course, not being quite so great for Olaf. So I think we'll do a special spell on him just to make sure that he does not freeze. Oh, I forgot I can't freeze children. Oh, well, instead, I'm going to get her to go over and give him a gift. The gift she's actually going to give him is her own glimmer stone. And I'm going to say that the glimmer stone is a special stone that when he uses it, will make sure that he can always stay cold. So as long as he has that on his person, he'll have his own little personal uh, blizzard. So Hans has woken up being like, what? Where is the snow? What, what has happened to my kingdom? This is mine now. You're meant to get executed. How is Anna okay? I froze her heart. Her heart should be frozen. <gasps> oh my gosh, she can strip him of his nobility. This is huge. So she is going to go ahead and strip him of his nobility and also let him know that the only frozen heart here is his. He's like, please no, please no. I'm the youngest of 13 sons. I'll never get a chance at it. And she's like, I literally don't care. You need to leave. You are exiled from the kingdom. You need to leave Arendelle straight away. Look at this. No longer nobility. Boo-hoo. Oh, look. He's having a go at Anna. Oh, my gosh. Never mind having a go. He wanted to get beaten up again. How many times are you going to realize you lose all the fights? All the fights. But Kristoff seeing him attack Anna is like, look, dude, you need to leave straight away. Don't you dare be touching my woman. You need to go away. Get out of Arendelle and leave. Go away. Nobody wants you here. Oh, look at that he's actually going and leaving. Oh my gosh, I just read that in the film she does sucker punch him into the water. So the fact that they had one last fight was actually so good. And also I can go ahead and make her recognize Elsa who obviously ran away. Recognize her as back as being with the royal family again. And then get these two little cutesy sisters to go ahead and have a nice loving hug. And of course Elsa being back to queen again. At least for now. She is back to being queen of Arendelle. <gasps> and I can actually do this bit as well. Okay, I'm so happy about this. I can actually get her to go ahead, Hans is burning to death, oh well, and give Kristoff a noble title because of course, you can't actually be in a relationship with a royal unless you're a royal or at least a noble and he is just a nice hunter, of course, that is what I've called him. So she's gonna give him a title. The title she gives him in the movie is Official Ice Master of the Kingdom and that makes him a noble. So, look at this. New noble on the blog, which apparently he tries to refuse but she's like, nope, you are a new noble. And then in the movie, she leads him down to the docks to give him a sled. I don't have a sled for you, but what I do have instead is a boat. I don't know why you need a boat to be a nice hunter, but I guess he's a nice master of the kingdom now or whatever. So she's like, look, I know we messed up your last sled, but here is another sled. Do you like her? And he's like, oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. I could kiss you. And she's like, oh, blush, blush time. And instead, the two of them, oh, they're actually flirting on their own. Oh my gosh, cute. And we get to watch the two of them have with Arendelle in the background. Please let this go off without hitch. Have the first ever kiss with the golden retriever in the background as well. Oh my gosh, cute. Have their first little kiss with the sled on the dogs, which is exactly what happens in the movie. Oh my gosh, I'm distracted by how cute the dog is playing in trash behind. But still, super, super cute scenes. I think Anna is my next heir, so this is really good. She's like the next one that will have a child. That will continue our challenge. Oh my gosh, Hans is dead. Death by overheating. Okay, I did not mean to do this. However, I've just gone in and checked on Hans, who was overheating when we checked him before. And I mean, only Sven has even noticed that he's died. But Hans 
Hans actually dead. Hans has actually died. Death by overheating and all beaten up and bruised. Now, I didn't actually want to kill him. We were just meant to exile him. This is a Disney princess challenge. It's not as savage as that, but Hans is dead. Hans is getting raped. The, the ending that is definitely not part of the movie, but I mean, his ghost will forever haunt us forevermore. And as a final act to show the whole of Arendelle that, you know, she's a nice queen. She ain't gonna freeze them all. She's not evil. She's nice and kind and she can control her magic most of all. She's gone ahead and created a rink that will forever have ice on it and snow inside despite the boiling hot temperatures. And anybody in the kingdom, but she, by the way, is Elsa. Sorry, did not make that clear. But yeah, she's gone ahead and created a little snow rink ready for people to skate on whenever they want. Oh my gosh. I love it when they almost fall over because I'm evil like that. There we go, guys. We leave them and Sven all having a happy little skate. Arendelle will no longer have complete blizzards and snowstorms all the time. It is a much happier kingdom. Hans or Hugo, depending on who you ask, has been kicked out and we are ready to begin our next gen. Shall I check who is actually going to be our next princess in the challenge? Okay, so we've done Gen 1 Snow White. We've done Gen 2 Cinderella. We've done Gen 4 Aurora. Oh no, Gen 3 Tiana we've done. Gen 4 Aurora we've done. Gen 5 Anna. The next one is going to be Rapunzel. I know you guys have been doing some Rapunzel builds, so I'm really, really excited to go and check those out. And why is it snowing everywhere? <laughs> rude! I said it would never snow again. This is incredibly rude behavior. But the next one is Rapunzel. You were wrong about the world. You were never wrong about me. Your mother never trusted you or the outside world. You never knew of a past and never wanted to. All you ever got was solitude, but that didn't matter. When Rapunzel is a teenager, the story begins. I don't know how we're gonna do this because I don't feel like Anna would be a mean mother. If you guys have any ideas how we can tr transition in, but I would like the next story to be set in modern times. So a modern day Rapunzel who's stuck in her tower and only ever gets to like use social media to talk to people. And we'll try and build something out of that. So if you guys like the idea, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it some love and I'll see you guys in another one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.